Put your ice in your tag bag. Spend a little time with Tony Abu Ghanem. Grab your muddler. And sooner or later, you'll be beating up some ice. And if he's not smashing it, he has other people shaking it. It's not going anywhere. Come on, let's hear it for Jan. Abu Ghanem is the modern mixologist, a man who has turned bartending not only into an art. One, two, three. <laughs> but into big business. I turn down more business now than, than I'm able to take on. And his business is booze, or the mixing of it anyway. Here at Commander's Palace in Las Vegas, holding a bartender and consumer seminar on the fine art of mixing cocktails. In my 26 years behind the stick, I've never seen as much attention put on the cocktails we're experiencing right now. The resurgence of the cocktail has been pinned to many things, from demographics to television, but the reality is money, profit, major spirit makers in a headlong rush to recapture some of that glass time they've lost to wine. It amounts to hundreds of millions of dollars in potential sales. We're so pre-programmed now to have wine, we forgot about cocktails. But remember, cocktails is what got us all started. And so what we have to do is, is now get them re-educated on what tastes good with the dinners. Does everyone know what this strainer's called? It's called the julep strainer. For Abu Ghanem, who got started behind the stick when he saw his uncles and cousins working a relative's bar in Port Huron, Michigan, that has meant a move from fixing drinks at the Bellagio to... Mike, thank you very much. Cheers. Mixing them in Lapland and numerous international venues in between, often as a beverage consultant for brand names like Finlandia of the Brown Foreman portfolio. He's a teacher and there has never been anybody like Tony out there. I'll come in there, I'll train your bartenders to it. The closest thing is another mixologist, Dale DeGraff, who he often tours with, considered to be the East Coast version of Abu Ghanem. It was actually he that set the West Coast kid on his way to the big time. Like so many other bartenders, Abu Ghanem started out to be an actor. So I was an, a bartender, but really I was an actor. <laughs> um, no, I was the flower delivery guy, and as the world turns, Mike. Hand extract some lime juice right into the glass. The world has turned right into his own cable TV vignettes, an upcoming book, appearances with all the named chefs of the day, every food and beverage convention there is. In fact, it has been the foodie revolution of the last four or five years Abu Ghanem has used to move cocktails from just drinks to, well, food, stressing fresh ingredients and the combinations of tastes. Think about approaching making drinks the way you do approaching food. Think fresh, think premium, think seasonal. A man in the business of mixing drinks and hoo hoo, business is good. Oh boy, do I make a nice drink. <laughs> <laughs>